Hello, fabulous people. Behold, in game part two, where we start completely over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, so yeah, I think best we just uh, start from scratch. Uh, good times. So, uh, so, so, in game, take two. Yeah, hopefully this time it actually works. Uh, uh starts now. Tony and Nebula are coming back from the, uh, from Titan. From space. And... He's teaching her how to play um, the flicking, the triangle game. Which is uh, also known as paper football in layman's terms. Yeah, you call it what you call it. Uh, uh, I know, one thing I'm going to miss about this review is uh, probably can't react. The uh, hour-long tangent about uh, the random stuff. <laughs> Those are always fun. They are. So yeah, they. Uh, so yeah, they play space paper football, which uh, which which got me thinking. So, how long did Tony spoke to Tony and Nebula um, spend in? you know, floating in space. I don't remember exactly, but it was, um, it wasn't a long, long time, but it was quite a while. It was days at least. So. Maybe weeks. About enough to start starving. Yeah. Well, no, they had some, they had rations. That they were running low on. Because remember, he was sharing the last of his rations. Okay, so they have, if they have rations, and it takes, uh, so maybe close to a month. Because it takes, because the human body can survive without food for about three ish weeks. But it's water the body really needs. Yeah. Plus, I mean, the ship was um, running out of air. Oxygen, but they uh, didn't say anything about the rest of it because, well, they kind of, uh, it, it's kind of the thing of, Hey, we're on a ship that uh, we're in a place that has the food and water already. I mean, it's medically sealed, so we can't breathe anymore. But it, it's kind of like if you're locked in a safe or a um, bomb shelter or whatever, and the air goes off, uh, the air filtration goes off. <laughs> you still have all that food and water that was stacked up but you don't have the air. True. So I guess timeline more like two and a half weeks. And it probably took a um, uh, generic space hero chick about, uh, say, five hours to fly them back home. Yeah, probably something like that. It depends on uh, 
how Mary Sue she was feeling at the moment. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, and then... Yes. I love how varied her uh, people are about her. Like, people either love her or hate her, and I'm just like... Oh, I'm um, she's kind of a Mary Sue. Um, I mean, yeah, a lot of the um, superheroes have superpowers and stuff, but her powers don't warrant as huge a, not fan base, but as huge a um, appreciation as she has. They, they act like she's OP, but all she does is shoot blasters out of her hands. She has plasma hands, and she can fly, fly in space without a suit. And she's strong. Yeah, she's strong, but I mean, that's part of the plasma thing. Yeah, so, generic superhero number 20. Yeah. Although you heard, um, you heard the news about the new uh, about the um, phase five. Is that what we're gonna have? Is that the phase we're in now? We, that's the phase we're starting now. Ah, uh, okay. Endgame finished phase four. Ah, so that's phase four. Uh, no. So now it's we're going into phase be. five with, um, technically I think the first phase five movie was Far From Home. That makes sense. But it's it, it was not talking going to you. To have, <laughs> Announce they're going to have, uh, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. They're, they're going to have Lady Thor. Jane is taking over as Thor because Thor joined the Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, uh, I guess it did happen in the comics, so I can't really fault them there. They're going to, they're bringing Riri in! Um, Ironheart. Oh, cool. Um, let's see what else. The X-Men are confirmed. Doctor Strange 2 is confirmed. Oh, yes, the, the, the madness thing or whatever. Yeah. Um, yes. Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. And now we have Wanda in it. Uh, I can't wait for that one. 2021, goddammit. I know. Also, of course, there's Black Widow. Black Panther 2. Yeah, the Which I good. really hope. Black Panther 2 covers who the fuck took over when um, uh, who the fuck became king after T'Challa and Shiri died and um, snapped. Uh, they probably had a, um... I mean, it was probably Mboku. You know, the uh, gorilla guy. Yeah, you make a good one. Because he was the one who showed the most interest in becoming king. And he was all, uh, in Black Panther, he was all like, hey, you're, you, there's a kid in charge now? Dude, I should be king. So, it was probably Mboku. But I, I hear so many people saying that it was Okoya. But, dude, that, she is a general. Yeah. She is part of the army. That would be like saying, um, oh, the Queen of England died, so now we're going to have Kate Stewart as the queen. It, it doesn't work that way. There's a hierarchy. <sighs> Plus, I don't think... Uh, Okoyo would want that job. <laughs> it's like too much, too much paperwork. She wouldn't, she wouldn't get enough Starbucks for it. 
fact that um, my role play uh, character, my role play, I used Okoye Dokoye, <laughs> you know, Okie Doki. I uh, would have done something about Starbucks. But yeah. um, Starbucks is okay. No, because remember at the end of uh, Black Panther, she's like, when I told you to to embrace the rest of the world, I meant get a Starbucks or something. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, then we, um... When they landed, um, Pepper's all like, Yay, Tony, you're alive! And Tony's like, fuck this shit, we lost. Like, no, it's it's okay. Just think of all the um all the lines we don't have to wait in now, <laughs> and, and less traffic on the roads. He doesn't need to worry about traffic. He can fly everywhere. You, you can't really tell me that you think don't believe he uh, would use his super suit for like everything. It's like, honey, I gotta go stop it. It's like, honey, could you go to the store and pick up this? It's like, I right, let me pop on the Iron Man suit. Which would be hilarious, seeing Iron Man going to pick up tampons or something. <laughs> hey, so, uh, me, so, it's so, just so, like, so, uh, uh, Mrs. Iron Man having some trouble. Iron Man just <laughs> plays a blast right here. I'm just like, I'll shut him now. <laughs> yeah. It's like having a rough day, huh, buddy? You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and then I, I think like we cut to the uh, five years later. Uh, do I like cut to Green Arrow knockoff? No, that was um five years later. Okay. Oh wait, no, that yeah, it cuts to his family getting up. <laughs> Snapped oh yeah, away. they get poofed. Which yeah, I, they get. I snapped. don't know. The the blip does not sound that threatening. That's because the blip is them returning. Oh, I thought the blip was them vanishing. No, that's the snap. Oh okay. They were snapped out of existence and blipped back. <laughs> So, yeah, he, because, and it's all because his son likes mayonnaise on his hot dogs. I know. Thanos, it's disgusting. Thanos would have lost, but, but he, but somehow him putting mayonnaise on his hot dog is what made Thanos win. It's what, yeah. it's <laughs> what made Thor miss his head. Yes. It's like somebody is putting mayonnaise on their hot dog. It's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> it's the end of... <laughs> oh my god, if they put that song. <laughs> uh. But, yeah. So yeah, they go, they go poop. See... <sighs> I mean, okay, so Thanos' plan was, like, full uh, had problems just all throughout. But one thing he should have done, and, uh, you know, this would have, like, uh, really helped his plan, was to not only erase half the universe, 
but also erase the memory of them ever existing. Yeah, that's what the, that was what he was planning on doing the second time around, at least. I thought the second time he was just going to get rid of it all. He wanted to wipe everybody out and rebuild them from scratch. Just, just a bunch of him. <laughs> An arm, just a, a universe of him. And I'm not talking about the Powerpuff Girls him, although that'd be kind of cool. The Powerpuff Girls him always makes me think of um, the uh, think of Tim Curry's character in um, the what's it called the the movie about uh, the transvestites. Uh, Rocky Picture Horror Show. Yeah, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh yeah, that one. Okay. Holy shit, if Tim Curry still acted and they did a live action Powerpuff Girls, he would, he would have play to play him. Yes. Or even just voice the new Powerpuff Girls him. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. It would be. <coughs> so yeah, he, he turns into a samurai holding... Sword dude, you know, kills oh. bad guys. He he becomes Ronin because he's like, you took away the only things that matter to me. And then Nat's like, bro, what about me? The only thing that matters to me besides Natasha. <laughs> because you can't mess with his sister. From another mister. Who, I, I still say she was Daphne, he was uh, Shaggy, and his wife was Velma. Uh, because his wife actually was Velma. A fanfic in the making. It is. I just had to stop because work and crap. Life sucks. <laughs> Get distracted with all this other crap. It does. Uh, and somehow, you know, they're all they're all looking for Ronan, dude. But it's like, how can you never find him? Just follow the dead bodies. Yeah, well, I mean, they did follow the dead bodies. That's true. He was always one step behind, though. I mean, they were always one step behind him, though. So. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. And then the uh, greatest hero of the day, uh, more heroic than, you know, space generic hero and all, all that stuff, the rat. Yes, the rat is the hero of the... Saved the entire universe, half of the entire universe, by walking across a freaking dashboard. Yep, the uh, the rat saved the day. That I still uh, think that um, they watch the cameras of the thing afterwards, and it's like, hey, look, this is where I come out. Wait, a rat let me out. We must find that rat. I'm going to keep him, and I'm going to name him Slinter. It's like, and I, and it's the, uh, I guess uh, Thor is it, and I shall name him the newest Avenger, Mini Tony Stark. <laughs> Tony 2.0. Uh, so yeah, uh, and then we cut to. Tasha and Captain America, I think, fighting well, over Natasha, a it's, It was Natasha was, um, it, it was Cap first with his AA meeting of survivor guilt. Oh, yeah. And then it was Natasha with her peanut butter sandwich of doom. Yes. Hmm. 
<laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> right? Uh, That's a good peanut butter sandwich of dill. Uh, uh, and then Tasha's like, are, are you trying to make me feel better by saying that the oceans are being more clean now? <laughs> Oh, but before he comes in, they had the um, meeting of all of the remaining Avengers. Minus Tony, because Tony retired. Yeah. And minus Thor, because Thor got fat. Well, he was suffering PTSD. Wait, wait, wasn't, wasn't like the, the meeting of the previous Avengers before the five-year jump? No, the oh, meeting. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Sorry. They were in um, they were in the holographic um, thing, and she was the boss. She's the boss of the Avengers now, sitting there making her peanut butter sandwich while she's talking to them. And ah, uh, yeah. She, uh, and um, Captain Marvel's all like, "I got a new do," and Rocket's like, "You look like a dyke." And uh, Okoye is giving her rep, and War Machine's all like, well, I kind of found him, but dude, those bodies are just piling up. I kind of <laughs> don't want to find him because, dude, I don't want him to kill me. It's like, is what he's doing that bad? Like, yes. Yes, it is. And, and I guess some people are saying that uh, when she was talking to um, whoever uh, in Wakanda, uh, they were, yeah, they're like kind of hinting at uh, uh, other movie things. Well, maybe. Although I think them having dealing with a uh, um, earthquake under the water would be kind of a lame movie. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, they're like probably talking about um, the manta or something like that. The what? The the manta, uh, a villain that has like a weird black scuba suit with the red mm -hmm. eyes. Don't know him. Uh, there is going to be an Eternals movie. Eternals. Um, they were the bad guys in um, Far From Home. Although they were fictitious bad guys, apparently they're going to have the real Eternals. Ah, okay. Uh, one second. Uh, did we ever do a Far From Home review? No, we didn't, because it got eaten halfway through the uh, uh, Endgame review. Okay. So we still got to uh, do the finish Endgame and then do Far From Home. Which, I mean, if we finish Endgame now, we, I mean, not now, now, but I mean, if we finish Endgame early enough, we could do the Far From Home as well. Um, I don't know, probably not. I got a, I got a lot of packing to do for my trip to Baltimore. Yeah. Long uh, trip. Have fun. Right, thank you. One second. I have to close an ad ah, that's bothering me. And then, and then I don't care. Thank you very much. No. Don't give me more ads. Okay. There we go. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. They have, they have the meeting. Yada, yada, yada. It's like, so what What can we do? It's like, oh, hey. So, uh, con conveniently, all of a sudden... 
although we've looked for a long time, we 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 can find where um Thanos is to kill him. <laughs> yeah, because that's you waited five years, but yeah, let's kill him now. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. I think the no, Thanos that... killing. They <laughs> killed Thanos right after, um, before the two week, the five year gap. Yeah, because Thor wasn't fat yet. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, they they kill Thanos. It's like it's like I destroyed the stones, which, technically speaking, uh, comics movies different, and the comics that would be impossible, <laughs> literally impossible the, the the stones are the stones are pretty much the universe and if you destroy the stones you would destroy the universe yeah well apparently they you if you destroy them they just grow back eventually anyway uh, so it's kind of mute I guess yeah moot not mute. Moot. Sorry. Yeah. Moot is what I wish you were sometimes. Ah, thank you very much. I'm the most sexy voice ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, Thor cuts off his head and sees. I didn't miss this time. No, he said uh, the first time he didn't miss, but he hit him in the chest, and so Thanos is like, "Next time, aim for the head." He's like, "Dude, what did you do?" I ain't went for the head. It's like a Disney movie. Yeah, but guess what? Deadpool's now Disney. I mean, I, I guess. No, Deadpool is now owned by Disney. It's going to be incorporated into the MCU. It's, mm. Yeah, no, it's true. Part of Phase Five, along with the X Men. Deadpool, what are they going to do to you? It's like I really want to cuss, but they and, only give me one cuss word. And new Fantastic Four. Okay. Okay. Clearly not Michael B. Jordan, though, because, well, he isn't a dead bad guy. The guy who played the black um, Johnny Storm and yeah. Human Torch was also uh, the bad guy in Black Panther. Killmonger? Yeah. I have to say, he played a way better bad guy. He did play a pretty boss bad guy. Although, yeah, a superhero. Although, the funny thing is, you want to know the first thing I saw him in? Hmm. A soap opera. Huh. Still my mom it. used to watch a show called All My Children on oh. ABC, and he played the son, adopted son of one of Erica Kane's ex-husbands. Erica Kane, Susan Lucci is like the prima donna, you know, one of those <coughs> talking about, um, at least in the 90s, it was that way. Yeah. You don't even have to know who, uh, you know, you don't even have to watch soap operas, but whenever they reference a soap opera, they reference Susan Lucci. My mom watched this one soap opera. I can't remember the name, but the one thing I remember about it, about it, there was this uh, this witch character. Uh, nobody Passions. else knew, huh? It was called Passions. Oh, uh, Passions guess. is the only soap opera that had any paranormal stuff to it. Well, well, nobody else knew she was a witch. And she had this doll, this uh, boy doll that was technically alive, but nobody else knew it was alive. I've never watched Passions. I only know this because my aunt used to watch it. Ah. Uh, 
So yeah, okay, and now we get to the five year time skip. It's like the Hey I'm alive. Is is that a video? It's like, no, that's the front door. <laughs> and then Ant Man does the most horrible thing ever. Oh, is anybody eating a sandwich? <laughs> really? I thought I thought of you when I saw that. Uh, yeah. I mean, if it was tuna fish, no, but peanut butter sandwich, yeah. I love tuna. Yeah, uh, I'm allergic actually, to tuna. It kills me. Actually, one of the drivers we had this week kind of looked like Paul Rudd. <laughs> <gasps> Only shorter. <gasps> it's like... And it's like, okay, if we if we do this uh, time traveling stuff, and then in the last review, I made it. I made a comment. It's like, uh, wh why did he come back and not really age, but the chick came, um, the Miss Ant Man or whatever, whatever came back old and then. Janet Van Dyne. Yeah. I know these names better than you do, and you're the one who reads the stupid comics. Because the comics and the movies are different. Janet Van Dyne is Hank Pym's wife. I'm pretty sure in both the comics and the movies. I don't know, I'm bad with names, Greg. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Whatever. So, yeah, so, I mean... Yeah, the yeah. reason why they tried the whole time travel thing and turned off... Uh, Scott into a baby, and then an old man. No, a child, then a baby, then an old man. Somebody wet myself, and I don't know, it was baby me or old man me? Or maybe it was me, me. I consider this a complete win. I, I like I, I like the new Hulk. So I optimistic. He he's uh he's pretty cool. I mean I kinda wanna see a Hulk movie that explains how he did it. I would love another Hulk movie. We haven't had a Hulk movie since uh Ragnarok. Yeah, because it turns out they don't really do that well. That's because, first of all, the first Hulk movie wasn't even um, our Hulk. <laughs> the Hulk movie was actually a different actor that they replaced for the rest of the MCU. It was technically part of the MCU, but it had a different uh, Hulk. I don't remember who played him in that one. But he wasn't as awesome as Mark Ruffalo. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, so there was that, whoever played the Hulk in the TV series back in the 80s or whatever. Maybe the really? 70s. That was the guy? Uh, or, or maybe the 70s. And then there was, okay, but official movie-wise, there was uh, two actors that played the Hulk before Mark. Yeah, but I mean... Only one of them was in the MCU. Yeah. There was a Hulk movie. The Incredible Hulk was a um, an MCU movie. Yeah, because um, we saw um, uh, um, Samuel Jackson at the end of it. Yeah. Nick Fury, yeah, Nick Fury. Yeah. And he... Uh, so technically, that was the first MCU movie because it came out before Iron Man. But it they replaced the main actor. So I mean, technically, it wasn't with the rest of the Avenger, the Avenger uh, Hulk. 
Wait, one sec. But I mean, since then. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but I, I guess they call Iron Man the first uh, movie because uh, Hulk was uh, something. It's like they just want to forget. Yeah. Well, I mean. I, I mean, it, it had a different actor. It, it was a complete, like, when I first watched it, I'm like, wait, am I watching the right movie? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was bad, but I don't think it was, like, the greatest movie. Yeah, no, it wasn't really MCU quality is what it is. Yeah. You know, they're just trying out new stuff, and yeah, it, it's hard to to, uh, to make a movie about a roid rage dude. I mean, that'd be like every other cop show. <laughs> so yeah, you know, get get a nice Professor Hulk. So. That's the win. Then we got Tony Stark. It's like, well, I um, I saw time travel. It's just, just how great I am. Like, of, of course you did. And the whole I love you 3000 thing. That was adorable. And the whole, um, shit. Shit. Hey, 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 that's mommy's word. Mommy coined it. Only she can use it. It's like, what are you doing out of bed? Ice cream? <laughs> oh, ice cream is always good. You know, he, he makes a pretty decent dad. He does. But yeah, you know, just solve time travel. It's like it's like Batman's like, who are you? It's like I'm you, but smarter. <laughs> Pretty much. Now I want to get a screen grab of the I am Iron Man in the finger snap thing, and then a picture of like Batman. I am Batman. Oh yeah. And I am Iron Man. It's like, no, no, it's like, I'm Iron Man. I'm Batman. I'm Donkey. <laughs> hey, I'm Webby. There's already one that's, um, I'm Batman. I am Groot. Oh, since, yeah, since you finally made, since you mentioned Webby, I finally get the uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Yes, thank you. That's so cute. It is. But we're not doing dark tales right now. Just yeah. Like... So yeah, they uh, start comes busting in, and it's uh, what kind of car was that? I don't know. I don't know cars. Me neither. It was a it was a room room car. And he's like, yeah. Yes, he turned into a baby. It's like, how did you know? <laughs> oh, by the way, you leave this at my house any longer, and Morgan's gonna use it as a slut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. I want to draw that now, but I suck at drawing people. Well, you want me to show you the person I drew to give you some confidence that it will be a lot better than mine? <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll try to remember to do that later. And remind me to uh, draw Morgan on a, on a um, 
sled made out of Cap's shield. Oh, they're so cute. With, 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 with uh, Cap chasing after, it's like, give me my shield! And Thor's like, give me my axe! <laughs> So yeah, they uh, get these cool wristband things. Okay, so um, probably the wrong order, but uh, let's let's start with uh, let's start with Thor. Well, first they have to go get um, go get Hawkeye, aka Ronan now, and they're searching for him for however long. <clears throat> he is a total renegade badass, and then. Here comes Nat. She finds him in no time. He's like, dude, we need you. We have a way to bring your family back. All right, I'm in. He was I only mean, at Avengers because of Nat. I mean, I would be in two. It's like, oh, shit, I can uh, bring him back to my family. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, he was only ever in the Avengers because of Nat. Like, even in the very beginning, she's the reason he was there. If it weren't for her, he wouldn't have been in the Avengers at all. And, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. And we also get like Thor threatening new killer, whatever his name was. <laughs> Dude, dude, I saw the best theory since um Deadpool is now in um is now in the MCU. Deadpool is new master sixty-nine. <laughs> <sighs> that would that would just be the perfect bring in. Like who are you? I'm Noob, Noob Master 69. I mean, I'm Deadpool. Uh, so there, there's like this comic that's been in my head with like Deadpool. And I don't know how it happened. But so they're all fighting Thanos, right? And, and somehow Thor gets his arm ripped off or something. Then all of a sudden, and it's still holding on to his axe, and then all of a sudden, you see Deadpool come out of nowhere, pick up the arm with the axe still uh, attached to it, and starts beating Thanos with it. <laughs> see, see, I'm not, I'm not picking up the, the axe, I'm picking up his arm that's picking up the axe. <laughs> Can he? Like, and then afterwards, he's just like, hmm. I could make him, I could just take the hand afterwards. Who needs a stranger then? Yeah. And, and like, Hulk's like, can you do that? I don't know. Yes. Yes. It's like, who? Doctor Who reference, you wouldn't get it. Because Jack Harkness, uh, kept the doctor's hand. Yeah. There is a battle royale for the ages. Captain Jack Harkness and Deadpool. Oh, God. They fight for a while, and then it's like, you can't die, can you? Nope. You? Nope. I've had my head chopped off and then root my body back. Yeah, I was blown into microscopic pieces and grew back. Want to go grab a beer? Sure. You want to fuck afterwards? Okay. <laughs> that is legit how that meet up would go down. It would. It most definitely would. 
So yeah, they all grab each other, they go back in time, and so uh start with Thor and Rocket. Thor and Ro Oh yeah, yeah, that just makes sense. Uh, Thor, Thor and Rocket went to pick up the reality stone. It's like Mom, it from Jane. It's like, Mom, you're gonna die, yada yada yada. It's like I know. I can see the future. I know everything. And then, and then Thor, you know, sticks out his hand. What is, what is he doing? It's like, just wait. It takes a little bit. It's like, oh, I'm still worthy, which, which makes me think that during that time period, we got the Thor that's in that time period fighting some monster, and all of a sudden his hammer vanishes. Like, uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, pardon me for no, a second. The Thor from that time period. No, no, no. The Thor from that time period was with. Jane in he was there somewhere because Jane was there. He's the one who took her there. Oh, yes, like, so he's just hanging out, having some dinner with his dad or something, and all of a sudden the uh his hammer just goes flying off. It's like, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> uh re return to Cinda. <laughs> so yeah. No, what I really Imagine all the damage that hammer does. Because if he just holds out his hand and the hammer goes flying to his hand, undiscriminate, uh, undiscriminatory, he just like goes through walls, goes through windows, goes through people. And you just see like an entire, those cartoon things where like the imprint of the hammer is through like a bunch of things in an entire row. It's like, there's this, uh, it again. There, there's this funny uh, animation kind of adult uh, where, where Thor is just, just uh, grasping for his hammer away for it to come. And the Hulk's just, just doing nothing. And it just comes behind him and just flies up to Thor. I've and Thor grabs his junk. And, <laughs> and it knocks his pants off. Yeah, so you have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, okay. So, interesting facts. So, in the uh, movies, it, it is, you know, who's ever worthy can, you know, pick up the hammer. In the comic books, it is technically the same thing, but it works a little bit differently, and it's how, like, the Hulk can pick it up. Um, the hammer's weight keeps on increasing, like, over and over again, but Hulk's strength keeps on getting stronger and stronger faster than the hammer's weight can increase. Mm. But in the movie, it's just like, okay, if you're worthy, you can pick it up. Well, um, if you remember in that Easter egg scene where they're all sitting around the table, the actual and they're all scene. trying to pick up the hammer. Oh, yeah, that. The hammer moved a little for Cat. That was awesome. And, you know, it moved a little, but then it stopped as if he, okay, I just jostled it, but I couldn't pick it up. And people are, like, saying, what if Cap always was worthy, but he just didn't want to ruin Thor's thunder, so to speak? Uh, I love the expression on Thor when that happens. Like, what the fuck? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, he just was so fun. panicked, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Although, another um, meme I saw was when um, Hawkeye couldn't pick it up, <clears throat> and Thor is like, that's because you ain't worthy. Hawkeye, it, I really wish Hawkeye would have turned around and said, bitch, when I first saw you, you weren't worthy either. You were crying because you couldn't pick that shit up. Because <laughs> in, um, in the first Thor movie, he lost the ability to pick up his hammer. You still there? I'm still here. Okay, you went silent for a minute. 
So, yeah, I mean, so they get her back, they uh, get the reality stone. They get, uh, and meanwhile, at the same time, in New York, they had Loki and, I mean, they had, um, they had Ant-Man, Iron Man, and Cap going after the Tesseract and the, um, and Loki's, uh, staff, which they failed both times. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, they failed both times on that one. Yeah. It's like, but Bruce managed, Bruce single-handedly managed to get the time stone. It's like, because it's yeah. like, because it's like, all right, dude. Um... <clears throat> Doctor Strange, which I know it sounds like a made-up name, but that's his name. He said uh, he gave up the Time Stone to Thanos, so now we have to go back in time to stop him. Uh, you know, to grab the Th Time Stone to stop Thanos before Thanos destroys the world, uh, the universe. Wait, Strange gave up? Gave it up? Ah, oh, fuck! Here, give it. Make sure you bring it back when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget the greatest line in the movie that is America's ass <laughs> no uh, the greatest line in the movie is like I think you have a great ass that is America's ass <laughs> because so wanna, God is a creepy fanboy so I want to say Something about um, the actor who plays Captain America. I don't, I don't think he's a bad actor. So he's, he's a good actor. I don't think he's a bad person. But um, I, I saw him with a mustache. And it was just no. 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 He looked like that one. He, he looked like a perverted uncle. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are certain people who don't look good with facial hair at all. Yeah. And most people wear way, have way too much facial hair, and beards are disgusting. I mean, a little stubble is fine, but like those freaking. Long ass uh, Gandalf beards are gross. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> he, he creepy. That's America's ass. Oh hey, yeah, that is America's ass. His ass is way too thick. His. I, he doesn't have a nice ass. Okay, Sam's. Ass is better. Sam's oh, no, ass is nice. I just said it's way too thick. Huh? I didn't say his ass is nice. I just said it's way too thick for a dude. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little bootylicious. Booty. Well, booty. Booty. No. Sam, Sam's ass is better. <laughs> I mean, as far as Captain America's go. Yeah. Now that's really America's ass. So yeah, uh, they they manage to get all the magical stones. They have to they have to use their uh, risk their last pin particle to do another jump in order to get both get enough pin particles to return and um get the tesseract and the uh, staff. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, because, um, uh, yeah, Stark meets his dad, it's like... And there was Jarvis! I know, that was... I, I squeed so hard at that because Jarvis is one of my favorites. That was, that was awesome. He's a, he is so adorable. He, he was like, it's kind of like if Alfred became a superhero. 
or, or a super spy. And then, oh yeah, we we uh, I was get, an agent Carter, and I'm like, I'm so glad they got the, the same actor. And then we get to the Soul Stone, which was very sad. The saddest. Uh, okay, I know Tony Stark's death was sad. I already predicted he was gonna die. I'm already like, yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah. So, that wasn't really so emotional for me because I'm like, I know it. But oh, holy fuck, that that scene with um, Nat and Clint, and if it was any other pair, yeah, it would not have worked and, because and not the other people, not even you know, not even Tony and um, Cap have that bond. And, and I. And I said this in a different review, but I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it here because you know it, it did technically happen in um, in this one. Uh, technically, that would not have worked, and they would have not gotten the soul stone because she jumped by herself, and he didn't. But technically he lost sacrifice her. what he he lost what he loved most, which was a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Which yeah, which I guess. Was of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich which i guess that makes sense like so technically speaking if his family was still alive they would have been the ones but since they're already dead the thing he loved in the world now was her yep so if it were that that is why it was the one in the what 65 billion different options that um that strange saw this was the one that works because oh. remember yes. when he was doing the like spaz out thing in the first movie yeah and it's like there's only one way that we'll win and it's by me giving up the time stone and i can't tell you what's going to happen because otherwise it won't happen Damn, how it <laughs> his whole family went poof. It wasn't just like his wife or daughter. It was like whole entire family. Exactly. I mean, that is totally not. That is not random. Okay. You have the king and the princess of Wakanda. You have, and you have um Hawkeye's entire family four people poofed you have you have pretty much the main character uh, most of the main characters in um in spider-man spider-man and all his friends were poofed Poof. okay so like it, you don't see you know oh one of my buddies uh wasn't poofed so now he's five years older than me nope all of his friends, all of his, the friends that he was close to, they all were, um, they were all poofed too. Ned and MJ and that Betty chick. Convenience. Right? And all, of, all but two of the Guardians of the Galaxy technically three because Gamora was thrown off a cliff but yeah. all of the remaining guardians of the galaxy I mean technically all but two because um Yandu was murdered oh I know he sacrificed his life to save Poppins. yes to save Quill <laughs> I saw a um, comic it was one of those screen grab comics where they you subtitled it differently. Yeah. Like, so Quill, I saw that Mary Poppins. Y y you did? Yeah. I totally am Mary Poppins, though. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> it, it has that, like, terrified expression on Quill's like, Quill's face, like, ah, oh, crap. I'm in for it for calling him a woman. It's like, 
dude, I loved it. Mary Poppins is awesome. I totally am Mary Poppins. <laughs> I just totally see that happening. I know. So yeah, they they finally get all the magical stones, all the bling 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 bling. Which, so yeah, and then they uh, then they make the uh, gauntlet for it. It's like, which apparently you don't actually need magical dwarf uh, dwarven armor. I mean metal for it to work. You can just have any. Regular metal. Well, to be fair, it probably had vibranium in it. Fair point, yeah. And vibranium is like, that and adamantium are like the most powerful substances in the universe. Yeah. There we go. Catfight between Wolverine and um, Black Panther. That adamantium versus adamantium. I mean, versus vibranium. I think uh, one time in the comic books, they actually made a metal that was both of them combined. An alloy? Yeah. Damn. It didn't turn out that well, though. Well, I mean, it, it doesn't usually, uh, it doesn't always. You, you have to take into account molecular cohesion. And whatever causes the uh, that metal to be so firm and so uh, strong might probably wouldn't mix well with other metals. Yeah. But so it probably wouldn't make a very good alloy. There's one thing that's been bothering me about vibranium, though, and I kind of want to wonder what would happen. So you got vibranium, right? The uh, the metal that literally stops anything. And we got the juggernaut, the mutant that literally cannot be stopped. What would happen if you put the two together? That is actually a pretty easy answer. Because while vibranium is impenetrable, Unless it is a large enough surface that he can't just knock it down. Yeah. He just walk right, he would just push it over. If you had a great wall of vibranium, you know, end to end of the entire country, then maybe he would be, he wouldn't be able to knock it over. But you have to take into account the fact that walls are not dug that deep. Or dug Generally, at all. they're just on top. So a wall of vibranium, he could just push down. <laughs> if you put him in a box of vibranium, like a shell of vibranium that is completely encapsulating him, but with air holes, then you yeah, probably true. wouldn't be able to escape. Especially if it's a ball, because what's he gonna do? Just keep running around like a hamster in a wheel. Well, I mean, technically you can leave it. You can leave out the air holes. <laughs> uh, yeah. no, I'm joking. Uh, apparently the juggernaut doesn't eat air. Really? Yeah. Well, it depends what version of the comic books you're reading. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, there's, there you go. He, he technically would beat vibranium only because of the frailty of the surrounding structure. And not well, because of the frailty of the vibranium. And I also guess you could also use the argument that technically he's not a mutant and he gets his powers from a magical stone. So yeah, yeah, but either it doesn't matter where he gets his powers. What matters is okay, he is unstoppable. That is what you're basing this off of. Yeah. Vibranium can stop anything, but 
its surroundings are the key yeah. component. <clears throat> I always thought I always thought vibranium. I thought the, like the trick of vibranium that it it stops it by just stopping the inertia of what's ever hitting it. No, because if that were the case, you wouldn't have had that sonic gong in the battle with Thor. Oh yeah, that is true. If that it was just cool, though. Stopped, huh? That was cool, though. It was, but if it were just, it, it immediately stopped inertia by its name being vibranium, by altering the vibration of the material, transferring kinetic to potential energy instantaneously, then, yeah, it wouldn't work because you wouldn't have had the sonic gong because the instant it touched it, it would stop. <laughs> that was awesome. So the fact that there was the gong thing means that it is more of a indestructible force rather than a inertia dampener. That makes sense. Science, people, science. <laughs> Technobabble at its greatest. You know, I guess the closest element we have... Uh, I feel like quartz could be close to vibranium, kind of. I mean, I think quartz actually does vibrate, maybe. It um, just kicked. Wait, what? Uh, science. Hold on. Uh, I'm okay, I'm 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 back. What happened? I don't know. It just like I got a message on here and it kicked me out of the call. And I went to join the call again, and it said I was already in the call. Weird. I know. Fuck. Hi. <clears throat> Anyways, so, yeah, Technobabble, because I am the American Osgood. It's always, it's always good to have some science in a review. Yeah. Especially when it's something like uh, sci-fi. Yeah. So yeah, now, because... they have, now they have all the stones, and it's like, okay, now, oh, yeah, well, I'm stupid. Why are they collecting all the stones? It's like, your Wi-Fi network is being shared by another person. <laughs> yeah. Poor, uh, poor girl. Uh, poor Nebula. I know. Poor, poor Nebula. It's like, oh no, I, I didn't mean to. It's like, and then bad past Nebula. It's like, okay, how how am I going to trick them and make you think it's me? <gasps> I shall change out my headpiece. Yep, that's the way to do it. Greatest disguise ever. I mean, it did work, though. Well, first of all, why they, they didn't expect? Uh, they they didn't expect anything different. You know, they weren't expecting the old Nebula to be coming back. Yeah. So they weren't on the lookout for it. So yeah, Thanos finds us like, yay, I 
I succeeded in my plan. Oh, I died. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I am inevitable. And that was inevitable. Oh, well. I love how callous he was about his own death. Like, I did what I got to do. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. So be it. Yeah. He does take his death well. He does. So yeah, yeah. they uh and then Hulk puts on the thing because gamma radiation or something like that. Yeah, but the thing I'm wondering is if they didn't have enough pin particles to do return trips and do all these all their trips. How did she manage to get Thanos back from the future? Didn't she still like some pin particles off of one of them? She stole just the pin particles off of herself. And that was just enough for the return trip. Yeah, and I guess they like somehow put it in the ship so they sent the whole ship back or something. I don't know. It's No, they shrunk the ship and oh, brought yeah. the ship with them in their pockets. Kind of like they do with the uh, Matchbox cars. <sighs> I don't know. So that's kind of a how are you gonna bring a, how are you going to bring an entire ship back if they didn't even have enough particles to bring a person back well technically they didn't just bring back entire ship they brought back his entire army yeah true so my point still stands yeah which, uh, maybe I mean, I, scaling I, I understand and that Squidward has some magical powers or whatever. But dude, that magical? I mean, maybe advanced alien technology and they could time travel already? Then why hadn't they done it before? I don't know. I'm just trying to make an excuse for any consistency. <laughs> uh, so, yeah a ship that just crashes through get a it's like i i try to bring her back but i couldn't it's like i know i understand and then they're fighting thanos and everybody and then uh i think it's like war machine that calls tony it's like hey we're here to save the day. Yeah. We've got, got a bunch of pearls open. And it's like, it's like Spider-Man. It's like, hey. Hey, uh. That Dr. wasn't. Strange. That wasn't War Machine. That was, um. They were getting beaten. And Cap's all like, we about to die, boo. And it was Sam. Oh, Sam. Because Sam was snapped. Okay, okay, And so Sam. it's like, Cap, on your left. Yeah. Or I'm... on your right or whatever. Because in the, uh, in his first appearance, that he was jogging around, um, you know, the, the monolith and stuff. And yeah, DC. I still need to see Winter Soldier. Yeah, he was, uh, he was jogging around that, what's the monolith called? The giant pointy tower in um, DC that has the little lake in front of it. Yeah, Washington near... Stick. Huh? Washington Stick. Yeah, the Washington Stick, that one. And you know, that area, he's jogging and then, uh, uh, and then he hears Cap going on your left or on your right or whatever it was. And a couple minutes later, he's still jogging. 
on your left. He's like, wait a sec, dude, you just passed me by. How the? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, holy crap, you're Captain America. Well, yes. Yes, I am. Have and... you met my cousin, Captain Canada? <laughs> no, Captain Britain, which is actually a thing. I know. <laughs> but he, uh, so they bonded over being war veterans and became buddies, and he got um, Sam to join him in the, uh, to join him on his side of uh, the Civil War thing, and it was disappointing. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, that's that. So that line of on your left was kind of a uh, nod to that scene. And then he's like, "Dude, cavalry has arrived," and everybody in the freaking MCU at the time comes out. And um, oh, yeah. Doctor Strange is like, is that everybody? And shows like, what, you wanted more? And just as he said that, Ant-Man pops up out of the rubble, giant size, with, um, who was it? Uh, War Machine and who was the other one that was with him? Um... The wasp? But, yeah. Huh? The wasp? No, wasp was um snapped, remember? That's why he was trapped. Oh yeah. No, it was um maybe rocket? No. Um it wasn't uh, the arc it wasn't Hawkeye. And it wasn't Nebula. I don't think it was Bruce. That's somebody. It was somebody. He, he popped out with his uh, with the his teammates in his hand and sets him down and is like, now everybody's here. <laughs> and everybody and, is. Oh, no, I mean, I mean, this was like this was like after this was like the blip, so everybody came back. So yeah, Wasp would be there now. <laughs> yeah, Wasp was there now. Yeah. But she wasn't in the rubble because the rubble happened. Oh. The, yeah, the thing. Think... Huh? Yeah. No, it was uh, it was Rocket Raccoon because he was stuck oh. underneath some stuff. <laughs> and, and it was um, and it was War Machine. Yeah, War Machine. Okay. Yeah. Because um. Nebula was on the ship with uh, Gamora and other Nebula, and she killed herself in order to save Gamora. Yeah. And turned Gamora to the side of good. Although, <laughs> although poor Quill, he's like, my girlfriend's alive? Oh my gosh, I love you, I miss you. And she just knees him in the nuts because she's like, stranger danger, who the fuck are you? Right. I dated him. <laughs> it's like, um, that was your boyfriend. It's like him. It was him or a tree. Fair point. <laughs> so they have the awesome fight. All of a sudden, the ships start shooting in the air. It's like, what are they shooting at? It's da 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 da, Captain Marvel. <laughs> and. They uh, they have that girl power scene of uh, where it's like playing rugby with this freaking gauntlet. She has the gauntlets running. It's like, how are you going to get through all that alone? She's not alone. And every chick in the MCU goes kicking ass with her. Which, which, was, which was cool. I'm not going to lie. Especially the scene, you know, where Wasp just flies like a little pixie and then just bursts into normal size. 
Okay. I don't lie. It was cool. But it was also kind of funny where uh, Captain Marvel got her ass kicked. I'm not going to lie there. True. Thanks. And um, the whole... I, I love the um, Karen overkill. <laughs> so, yeah, they have the... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, even even Spider Man helps out too. Yep. Like, what did I get myself into? And then, and but somehow Thanos thinks he gets it. It's like, okay, goodbye, everybody. He snaps. Nothing happens. Like, um, <laughs> it's uh, like no, he 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 does that. Yes, but I am inevitable. Uh, kind of like Q, kind of like Q in Spock versus Q when he loses his powers and he's like snapping, and it's like nothing's happening. And Go then, on. and then you have Stark with the uh, gens in his own Iron Man. Yeah, just just crawling up his hand, like, and I am Iron Man, and I, I just really like that scene. Not only for the uh, I am Iron Man line, but also just how Thanos took it. It's like he, it's like. He realized he wasn't one of those villains that's like, oh my god, I lost. So, uh, so I was like, no, he he took it pretty well because he's like, okay, I lost. There's nothing else I can do. So he just sits down and just takes it. Nothing very quiet all of a sudden. Minion. Speak it to me, Minion. Oh, God damn it. Speak it. I will come over there and give you mouth to mouth. Sky, if I'm hitting you right now, I'm really hitting you. Ooh, the hell! God damn it. Meow. Why, thank you. I can't hear you at all. <laughs> okay, now I can hear you. There, there, there you go. Okay, good. So, so yeah, as I was saying before, you know, I just like how Thanos sits down, just, you know, accepting that he was defeated. Yeah, that, that does leave me the question, with all his minions getting wiped, did Gamora get wiped too? Um, no, I think Iron Man was like, okay, she's, she's good now, I'm going to spare her. But I mean, he didn't really discriminate so much as it depends on how the magic works with that. Because if he's like just all the evil guys fighting against us, then no, that's one. No, but, wait, no, she still existed because uh, if you remember, like towards the at the end of the movie, it shows Star Lord tracking her with the computer thing. 
He was searching for her, but it said uh, missing or not found. Um, I guess we'll find out in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Yep. Or is it as Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, God. <laughs> Which? <sighs> Damn, I, I kind of want to see. I love that little power struggle between uh, Thor and uh, Quill. It's like, why don't you fight for dominance? It's like, no, no need to fight. We're, we, we, we all know who's in charge here. Yeah, I mean, it's like, yeah, exactly. It, it's me. Yeah, I know. It's you. Totally you. <laughs> so, yeah, they all save the day. The world's back to normal. And, and Tony dies. But let's uh, let's all say who the true bad guy in this movie was. The IRS is like, yeah, you owe a bunch of the old like five years of back taxes. No, they don't, because they weren't working those five years. I mean, like property tax and all that stuff. Um, no, because they, most of them don't have their own homes. And second of all, those who do have their own homes, they were probably replaced being counted as dead. Which, as we get into um, Far From Home, I love the fact that they address that shit with, yeah, there are billions of people displaced because everybody thought they were dead when they were uh and then they flipped back and there's a new family living in their house and it's like who the fuck are you <laughs> it's my house. no it's my house like well there can only be one so I mean, they don't really owe any back taxes because they didn't have anything to owe. <laughs> Somebody else has been paying their taxes. <laughs> Logistically. Uh, uh, and then to Far From Home. Then? Yeah, they all they all saved the day. It was so nice, and and I'm just imagining just Tony looking at Doctor Strange. He's like, "You knew I was gonna die, didn't you?" He did. So you which bastard! He should have told me. Which is why he said that if you knew, it won't happen. Yeah, I know. Because while Tony is a bit of a, you know, has the hero complex, if he knew what was going to happen, he'd probably try to find a way to avoid it. Yeah. But I think deep down, he, he already knew. Yeah. But I think the real villain of this movie Tom Holland with his Mr. Stark, we won. You can wake up now. Because that's just plain evil. Like, the light. Why all these feelings stuff? Feelings. Although, I did see a really cute comic where, um, it had Nat and um, Tony in the Soul Realm, and it's like, did you win? Yes. What did it cost you? Everything. Was it worth it? Definitely. I and they just had too, weren't they like on a beach or something? Yeah, they were like overlooking a sunset or something. Yeah, that was a cute comic. It was. Much, 
It was a much cuter comic than the comics they had for um, Infinity War. Those heartbreaking motherfucking. <laughs> like the one with um. There's uh. There's Rocket sitting there with the ashes of uh, Groot, and standing next to um, Thor, saying. What am I going to tell the guys? Because he didn't know that the, everybody else died yet. Yeah. Like, no. Feeling. Stop it. <laughs> you know, the first panel was his um, thing about... I, I finally have a family who, you know, somebody who... People who care about me and who I care about, and they're my family, blah, blah, blah. And then they, I've already lost so much. What else can I lose? Everything. And then there's the scene where he's standing there with, um, uh, with Groot's ashes. It's like, am I going to tell the guys about this? Oh, no. Well, uh, one awesome scene that, well, mentioned last time, but then mentioned here is um, Professor Hulk trying to act angry. <laughs> like, this is so undignified. It's like, rawr, smash. Oh, smash. <laughs> I love how unenthused he is in that. Like, yeah, so here, would you like some tacos? I have tacos for you. <laughs> uh, Brody, be careful when you, uh, be careful on re-entry. There's an idiot in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is so cool. Hey, wait. So you know, I was saying before how how you know get Thanos' ship and stuff to travel back in time. Mm -hmm. Do you think maybe they had the technology to replicate the pin particles? Possibly, or they used um, um Squidward. Yeah, I Squidward was like super powerful. I just thought Squidward could just move stuff with his mind. No, Squidward is uh, basically a creepy alien version of uh, a Sorcerer Supreme. Oh. Uh, I just thought he had mind moving powers. Cool. No, he, he, he creates portals. He creates all that other crap, just like um, Strange does. So... What you're saying is, it was even more pathetic he got defeated by an alien reference. Yep. Okay. So there's and, this really ancient show, okay? <laughs> <sighs> I, I like I like this new Spider-Man. See ya. I He's adorable. He is. See what I'm mm. Mm. Did you see the um, lip sync battle? Tom uh, Holland versus Zendaya? No. It's uh, so Tom Holland is Spider Man, Zendaya is the one who plays MJ. Yeah. They did um, lip sync battles. And. Uh, Jack says Zendaya should have won, but dude, Tom Holland's, you know the song Umbrella by, um, I don't know who sings it, Beyonce or something? I'm familiar the with it, Tom yes. Ever. Yeah, he, he did that one. I will uh, link you to it. It's actually hilarious. Um... Uh, well, I guess 
And that, everybody, was Adventures in Game. Yes, it was. <laughs>